Sears Hotel in Las Vegas, it's National Lampoon's Funny Money. Starring some of the funniest comedians I've ever claimed to have discovered. Hi, I'm Bud Friedman, and I am the eye in the sky. Tonight we have Rick Overton, Sue Murphy, Bobby Lieberman, and special guests Fred Willard and Martin Mull. And now please welcome the host of our show, Storm Chaser, Jimmy Porto. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, comedians. How are we? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the National Lampoon's Funny Money, the game show where big laughs will earn you big bucks. Guess what? We're in Vegas. How do you win? It's simple. You're going to score every time a laugh hits the funny zone on our funny meter. The more laughs, the more funny money dollars you can earn. Player with the most funny money dollars at the end of the game will go on to play for the National Lampoon Grand Prize. Personal note, as a comedian, you always enjoy working with the people that you looked up to when you started. I have that pleasure here today. Let's meet our contestants. Martin Mull and Fred Willard are here. Hey. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm terrific. I love, I love your escort that here in Vegas. They are dynamite, aren't they? Yeah. I go everywhere with them here in town. K kids are cute at that age, aren't they? <laughs> What's going on with you, sir? Um, well, I'm here playing the game show with Fred, and um, that's about it right now. Terrific. Mm -hmm. And what charity are you playing for? Uh, the Andrew Dennis Memorial Fund. It's to raise money for underprivileged kids to go to school. Terrific. Hopefully we will get another Good to be here. Good to have you. Hey, Fred, how are you down there? Fine. I want to start out by saying my favorite sport is baseball, and I love people. <laughs> Terrific. Good to have you here, Fred. And uh, Fred, uh, your charity, sir? Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Terrific. They do wonderful work. I will ask you two the same question I ask every day at this time. Are you ready to play National Lampoon's Funny Money? Oh, We're boy. ready. Oh, here we go. Yes. To start, I'll ask you guys a question from the world of comedy. First person to buzz and answer correctly will earn two billion funny money dollars. You will then pick a comedian to perform. Every time they get a laugh in the funny zone, we'll give you another one billion funny money dollars. Okay. They can add up. Hands on buzzers, gentlemen. Here we go. In the film Honeymoon in Vegas, Nicolas Cage is forced to parachute out of a plane with a group of what? Paradise, uh, Fred. Elvis impersonators. That's exactly right, sir. For two billion. <laughs> funny money dollars. Fred. I'm an Elvis fan. Yes, That's I know. You know that. You got in a little yeah. quicker than Mark, yeah, no well, doubt Fred, about it. Think it's the a one comedian answer if you he's going to get. Well, I think, uh, <laughs> I happen to know Rick Overton. He's a very rare comedian. They call him that because if he's funny, it's very rare. So, <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. And get out of here. You're going to take that from him? Oh, yeah. I went, where is he? Oh, there you are. I'm sorry. How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm Hi. good. Uh, uh, you've won an Emmy with Dennis Miller? Yes, I did. I didn't bring it with me. They won't let it on the airplane. <laughs> right, it's a weapon. Man, it's too much weapon. Yeah, sure. pointy wings in your eyes. Yeah. Uh, That's a fun goal. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right. My neighbors have this dog, and it's a pug. And I'm sorry if you think it's cute. It's not. It's this horrible man-made monstrosity. <laughs> if you own it, clear your head, back away, look at what you have in your house. 600 years ago, there's some early British breeding team going, I've got it, let's make the terrier bugger a rat. <laughs> powder, powder, wig. It shouldn't have stopped, but it did. And, you know, they bred the head in so that the brain forces the eyes out the sides like a bad stripper boob job, you know. It's permanently out of breath for no apparent reason. <laughs> She's holding it going, oh, my little Peter Lorre head, what do you want to do? You want to go out? And he's like, why don't you kill me? <laughs> Why do you permit me to live? Time! Oh, my God. For the second. Gorgeous. <laughs> Have a seat, sir. Get comfortable. All right. Uh, hey, Fred, he got four laughs for you. That gives another four billion funny money dollars. <laughs> Hands on buzzers, guys. What current TV game show announcer played himself in the film Man on the Moon? Is it Don Pardo, Bud Freeman, or Gary Kroger? Martin Mull. I'm going to go with Don Pardo. That is incorrect, sir. <laughs> incorrect. Oh. Fred, chance for you to steal. I, I, I think uh, the esteemed Mr. Friedman But Freeman is yeah. correct answer. Oh. $2 million. <laughs> Fred, you get to pick another comedian. We have Sue Murphy over there. Avi Lieberman looks anxious. Your call. I, I, let, let me see Avi. Uh, Avi, front and center. Yeah. There we go. Bring him on. 
Bobby Lieberman. Good, Good to, to have you here. Thank you, Jimmy. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm great. Off you go. <laughs> Uh, we're lucky to have you here today. We're very excited. Two of my mentors over here. It's Might a thrilling well. day. You as well? Yes. Which one's better, Fred or Martin? Uh, they're both fantastic. <laughs> I love them both. <laughs> That's the All right. Uh, I like to gamble, and I'm trying to be conservative while I'm here in Vegas. I play the nickel slots. Uh, yes, I played them for 10 minutes. I lost $38,000. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my favorite game to play, though, uh, probably poker, right? And I like playing poker in casinos because there are rules to the game, right? Do you ever play with your buddies at home? There's always that one guy who wants to teach everybody some crazy new game he learned. <laughs> with all these rules, it's like, all right, here's the game. This is called when Johnny goes to Bangladesh, he always rides a pony. All right. <laughs> all even cards are wild, all of them, except the fours. Fours are actually fives. Now, you're going to get three cards, turn two face up, one face down. Stand up, switch seats with the person to your right. Get three more cards, flip one face up, stand up, back to your left. All right, now, here's the weird part. Okay. <laughs> That might seems to be the one that works here. Uh, <laughs> I've got three laps. That gives you three more funny money dollars. Three, uh, three, three more. Three, three strong laps. More. Three yeah. billion. Wow. Uh, you got that right. Eleven. Oh. No, no, Mark. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. There's no, there was no question. All right, you guys. Here we go. Uh, I need you guys to switch back. Oh, though, if you could. Uh, okay. Let me yeah. just disconnect this. <laughs> Good call. Hey, he wasn't kidding. <laughs> Hands on buzzers, guys. All right. In the sitcom Good Times, what was JJ's catchphrase? Giddy up, what's happening, or dynamite? Martin Mull. Dynamite. You are right, sir. Two billion, twenty million dollars. Dynamite. Sue Murphy. That's who I was going to choose. You have a good call. Equal opportunity. I like it, Sue. I'll do it from way over here, then. Uh, how are you, ladies? Thank you oh, so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're all a little uncomfortable, I think. <laughs> yeah. You want to come with it? You have been on The Tonight Show. That's Sir. You've been on David Letterman? Mm hmm And I got a quote foghead. I want to just want to make sweet love to you. Of course it's Vegas, baby. You got that right. <laughs> I love the Vegas action. You do? Mm -hmm. Walk me through that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do the comedy Go here. Ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, two of my old boyfriends are gay. Uh, now, should I feel weird about that? <laughs> they went from me to gay. I was a transition. <laughs> It's almost like they were going, you know, I'd really like to go out with a woman, but I'm just not ready to take that leap. Oh, Sue Murphy's available. I, I, I am the gateway to homosexuality. I'm like Tan Jean from Poltergeist. Crossover. All are welcome. The only reason why I tell you this is that if any one of you are feeling remotely attracted to me, you're probably gay. <laughs> I'm trying to be more feminine. I'm learning how to cook. Uh, I made a casserole. The only trouble is when I want to take out the oven, I realized I don't need only a uh, um, 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 fudge. I saw the clock winding down. Oh, Sue. So. Sue so got you three laps, Martin. That gives you $3 billion, funny money dollars. Grand Great. total now, sir, $5 billion, funny money dollars. Fred Willard has $11 billion. You folks at home, come on back for more of Funny and Money. Willard, Mull, Pardo, those three. Come on back. Special episode of Net Lampoon's Funny Money. Martin Moe, Fred Wilder. Yes. Johnny, what are we doing? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, what are we doing? <laughs> you yeah, <is that>, uh, <coughs> you'd, you'd be great on a host show. Let's play a game here. <laughs> you see him as the host, don't you? Oh, you, see, well, you guys see me as a host of a game show. Absolutely. Yeah. I what can do you see think? That. Of what kind, Martin? Uh, maybe with comedians or something like that, but that might be a reach. Okay. <laughs> After this, we'll sit down, we'll spitball it. We'll come up with some ideas. <laughs> we, uh, we've logged on to nationallampoon.com and found some very unusual pictures, Martin and Fred, oh, like this oh one boy. here. Oh. Before the show, we had our comedians come up with a funny caption for each one. Your job, fellas, look at the captions in front of you and decide which one you think will get the biggest laugh on the funny meter. Get it right, we're going to give you five billion funny money dollars. <laughs> we okay? Everybody's locked in. Rick Overton, if you could find the time. And the soup of the day is a tomato bisque with just a hint of lesbian. 
Sue Murphy. Uh, Sunday, 60 Minutes reveals the truth about Heinz ketchup and their sweatshop of drunken college girls. Avi! <laughs> On Monday, these two women ruined a perfectly good fetish for everyone. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you went with Rick and Hint of Lesbian, we're going to give you $5 billion funny money dollars. <laughs> I went Which with catch? I went with what I think life itself should have, and that is a hint of lesbian. Boom for five billion funny money dollars. <laughs> Fred, what that catch? I also, up? as many men do, went with the lesbians. <laughs> Here's your next picture. Oh, ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. It's a lot less dangerous without the antlers, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and lock in if you would, oh. Martin and Fred. Both locked in. Rick Overton, let's hear your caption. Next on Fox, when animals attack, apologize, and have makeup sex. <laughs> Smurf. With Santa gone, Rudolph could finally be his true self. <laughs> okay. Look, while the crocodile hunter was a ratings champ, its spin-off, The Deer Molester, proved disappointing. <laughs> Three outstanding captions, guys, but if you went with Rick and makeup sex, we're going to give you five billion funny money dollars. <laughs> Martin Mull, which caption did you go with, sir? Well, I feel so sorry for Sue. I went with his true self. Okay. Jimmy, I also Fred. went with his true self. His Sue true gave self. it a wonderful delivery, and I thought uh, that was it, but we win and we lose. We sure yes. do, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Such is life, huh, Fred? I'm gonna make it up, down on the slots and no the cave. Doubt about a little yeah. cat yeah. Martin, something? Uh, what do you mean? No, I'm Looks fine. Like I wanted to say something. No, 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 I'm just a little hungry. That's all. all right. Right. <laughs> We're gonna get a commercial yeah. break. We're gonna get Martin a sandwich. You're yeah, gonna hit the nice. slots. You know, Come I up. played yeah. nickel slots, and in 10 minutes, I lost... <laughs> Next show, next show. Hey, everybody, Martin Mall, Fred Willer here. Come on back. Special episode of National Life Coach Funny Money. Fred Willard has 60 million funny money dollars. Martin Mull has 10 billion funny money dollars. Let's play the game. Let's, play, game. Let's play, play the game. game. Guys, it's time to test your comedy recall. Each of these three great comedians will perform a short routine for you. Afterwards, I will ask you a series of questions about what you just heard. Martin, Fred, pay attention. There's going to be a quiz later. Oh, boy. Here we go. Huh? Focus right on a curve? Uh, we're going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Overton, start it up. All right. Who else here is a BattleBot geek like me? Do you watch the BattleBots? I love watching that. They go in, let's follow the cyber warrior home. Some 48-year-old like me still lives with his mom in the basement, you know. <laughs> this one guy had a pet cat that he built this wheelchair for. Did you see that episode where it had the little electric wheelchair? A cat knows how to work this little electric wheelchair. And I thought, oh my God, it's a smart cat. Can we give him a little Stephen Hawking's word panel? He can tap out basic sentences for you and stuff, you know? <laughs> I hear the can opener in the kitchen. I go to investigate. You have fooled me once again with Campbell's soup. I return to the living room disappointed. Rick Overton! Las Vegas, Vegas baby. Uh, I went to the, it was 117 degrees and I went to the stratosphere. Now the stratosphere has built a freestanding tower that's 112 stories tall and they've built outside on top of the tower a roller coaster. So I have to go because when it's 117 degrees that's when you want to go closer to the sun. <laughs> There's two roller coasters. There's one that's in the middle. It's a big shot. That's the one I went on. And you sit on it and they shoot you straight up. They come straight back down. It goes up and down and up and down and bleh. And then you enjoy the fabulous panoramic view of Las Vegas. <laughs> and this is what I got. Oh, oh, by the way, when it's 117, always go to the highest point, wear shorts, and sit on a vinyl seat. <laughs> Which I came to realize is actually a safety 
safety precaution because the seared flesh actually poly grips your ass to the sea. <laughs> and that way you don't become the human cannonball in the Treasure Island show. <laughs> I left my arm out there. I ended. Super baby. Oh, get up there. Uh, living in L.A. now, uh, I belong to a gym. That's apparently obligatory. And uh, you can't go in, how much is it, and pay. They have all these plans, you know. We have many, many plans. Our most popular plan is where you give us $80,000 up front <laughs> and then give us your bank card, and we'll automatically take $1,000 a month off of that. You don't have to worry about it. We'll take it right out for you. I'm like, uh -oh. all right, what's your most inexpensive plan? Well, on that plan, you can come every Monday from 1 to 1.30 <laughs> and every third Friday in August from 2 to 2.15. But that's not our most popular plan. And then uh, the plans, they get worse and worse as you go along, you know? We also have our stay-at-home plan, where you, again, give us a large sum of money up front and just stay at home. And you are not allowed to use the facilities for any reason whatsoever. Boom! Nice job. Real nice. Big hand for all three Canadians, guys. Avi, Sue, Rick over to go up in All right, you guys, as promised, it is comedy recall quiz time. I will ask you guys a question. First person ring and answer correctly will get five billion funny money dollars. Okay. Whoever's ahead at the end of this round will get our chance at our National Lampoon Grand Prize. Here we go, guys. Yay. Sue said the last time she was in Vegas, it was how many degrees outside? Martin. 117. That's correct. The last time Sue was in Vegas, she went to what establishment? Uh, Fred. The Stratosphere. That's correct. Rick said a guy built an electric what for his cat. injured cat? What? Cat. Incorrect. Let me finish it for you, Fred. Rick said a guy built an electric what for his injured cat? A wheelchair? That's correct, sir. The health club Avi joined told him they had many, many what? Fred. Plans. That's correct. Avi said his health club's most popular plan is where he gives them how much money up front? Martin. A bunch. <laughs> a, a, a... Lord, I cannot accept that, Fred. $80,000. $80,000 correct oh. answer. What did Sue say the Stratosphere built on top of their freestanding tower? Fred. I think a roller coaster. You think right, sir. According to Avi, his health club's most inexpensive plan allows... And that means the time is up. And Fred Willard's our big winner at 41 million. Money, money, dollars. Uh, nice work, sir. Nice work. Mark, you played one hell of a game. There's no Thank question you. about that, sir. We are going to give the Andrew Dennis Fund at Crossroads School in Santa Monica $1,000 on great. your behalf. Great, great. We are also going to give you something personal, sir. Here's Bud Friedman to tell you about it. Oh, Bud. You've won a trip to Rio. The Rio Hotel and Casino, located just a few blocks down the street here in Las Vegas. Enjoy the walk. It's all on us. That's nice, huh? <laughs> We're nice people. Here at Funny Money. Not unexpected. Fred Willard, you've won 41 billion funny money dollars. That means we're going to give Children's Hospital of Los Angeles $2,000 oh, on your behalf. That's very nice. Exciting than that, you're going to get a chance to make more than that in our bonus round, Fred. So right. stick around. Mert, will you stick around as well? Oh, why not? Why the hell not, right? <laughs> you folks at home, I'm asking you to stick around as well. Come on back. Fred Willard's going to go for the big money when we come back. <laughs>Fred Willard, who's about to play for the big grand prize. How do you feel, kiddo? Well, pretty good, but I see Martin over there with the showgirls. It's too late to change places with him. <laughs> I thought you were playing for children. Oh, yeah, with the children. Oh! <laughs> we joke, we joke. We sure do. Because that's what it's all about, Angeles. isn't it? It's all about Humor. If we can make, if I say if I can make one person laugh, that's, that's a pretty good record for me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fred, we've divided our funny money logo into 12 different pieces. Some think it's like a pie, others say a pizza, some say a roulette wheel. Hit me behind that is a scene from the famous comedy movie. All you have to do, Fred, is give me the title of that movie. All right, I <laughs> would say the, National Lampoon. Oh, not yet. <laughs> to help you do that, you get to pick a comedian. Now, Fred, you've won 41 billion funny money dollars. Uh -huh. Because time is money here at National Lampoon's Funny Money, that actually means you've won 41 seconds for your comedian to perform. All right. For every laugh they get within that time in the funny zone, we're going to take away a piece of the puzzle. All right. You'll then have one shot at guessing the movie. Okay. Which comedian would you like to choose, sir? Rick, just, Sue, or Avi? Just to get that big queen away from that beautiful girl, I'm going to take Rick over to. <laughs> 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 
Hello. Uh, Rick, you have 41 seconds on the clock. Okay. We're playing for charity. Oh, my God, charity. I want your A game. Oh, my A game. All right. You, you, must okay? let you know I have a paper plate in my head because they were all of the metal ones. <laughs> Hopefully that will not Start affect play. One. All right. We're not starting it, Fred. Here we go. I love Viagra. I'm 48 and I love Viagra and so does my hero, Hugh Hefner. He's taking this up like Tic Tac. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, he's got to service five 27-year-olds all day long. So, you know, that's dangerous. That can kill you at that age. And your point? <laughs> a lot of stuff can kill you. I don't care. You know, my biggest risk is, you know, it, he's, he's so rich that he's never going to die. But me, I got to watch it when I'm 75. I'll be in bed like, you know, oh, baby, it's so good. Oh, my hip and my spine. Both my hip and my spine. Just don't move me. And then, and then there's a the simpler physics issue. You can't afford to be pulling blood out for any reason. I'm like, oh, oh mom, it's good. Who are you? Get out of my bed. Who are you? <laughs> Boom, time! Rick Overton. Very nice, sir. Come over here. All right, Fred. Thank you, Freddie. All right, Fred. Thank you, Freddie. All right, Fred, Rick Overton, you got your four laps, which means we're going to take away four pieces of the puzzle, but that's not all, Fred Willard. Oh, no. We're going to give you $300 in cash for every laugh. That means you just got $1,200 in addition to the two grand we gave you before for your charity. $3,200 for Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Rick says National Lampoon's uh, European vacation. Okay, we're going to wait until we actually disclose oh, I got it. Thing. I got it. I'm with you. I got it. It's going to be easier that way for you, Fred. This I got is going to give you a chance to <laughs> double it, by the way. A chance for you to walk you away with $6,400 for your charity. We're going to take away four pieces of the puzzle, but I'm going to tell you what, Fred, because we're playing for charity, we're going to take away five pieces of the puzzle. Sure. Fred, what five do you want to take it away? What, taken away? Uh, what do you think, Rick? Uh, 10, 2, 9, 3. Uh, and uh, One more, guys. four. Here we go. Here come your pieces. Oh. That's time, guys. I need an answer. Uh, when Harry met Sally. When Harry met Sally? It is not. Uh, oh, something about Mary. There's something about Mary. But you know what, Fred? What'd you get? $3,200 for your charity. You gotta be happy with that. Yes, absolutely. Martin Mull, come out over here. Martin Mull got $1,000 for your charity. A pleasure to have you here. Guys, everybody come on over. Rick Overton, great job. Folks, a wonderful show on Funny Money. Avi Lieberman, Rick Overton, Sue Murphy. Martin Mull, Fred Willard, I'm Jimmy Fardo. We'll see you next time on National Anthem.